up guys i'm uh, back second video of the year pretty nice so i could not wait until saturday i i literally couldn't i need to show you guys this kayak because how nice it is it's literally way too nice i'll show you my brothers and the one that my mom's gonna be using all nice kayaks but yeah let's get straight to it see you then okay we're gonna start off with my brother's kayak a little old pelican. No, not a pelican, sun dolphin. Oops. Who is that? Oh, that's nasty. Little, forget how big, but small kayak. Not half bad, but could be better. Everything could be better. Let's flip this back over. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I hate that. And then we're gonna start off. Not start off, my bad, but we're gonna take a look at. The one that my mom's gonna be using. This kayak's really nice. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little actual good kayak. There's barely any room though. Which that's one of the major downfalls of it. There was like no room. I'm trying to see how to make that seat stand. Inside of it, I don't know what's in there. Oh, just white. Nothing much. Nice kayak, but let's flip it over now. There we go. Let's take a look at mine now. Fully open. Oh, oh my gosh. It's amazing. I hate sitting down in it. I'll try to get into it with you guys here, but I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials. Cause I suck at getting in this kayak. Oh, I dislike it. Really dislike getting in this kayak. Okay, let's do it. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna make you guys wait for a second so I can like get in because I think I'm gonna fall if I do this with you guys with me. See you then, but yeah, not really much to it. Get in there. This is what it's gonna look like when I'm just sitting here. And I'll show you the back, but yeah, on let's kind of, I'll just let me just show you guys the back one second. And it's me, but let's take a look at the back. See, that's the back. It's a milk carton and then a little tackle box and then two rod holders. I want to get PVC pipe to like make it into a rod holder, but yeah, I really want to do that, but don't got PVC pipe. I'm gonna show you guys a little secret. I have two secret hatches. Damn, it's stuffed to the brim with water. Hmm. I'm gonna put you guys down there anyways. Okay, let's go, let's go, one second. It's gonna be really nasty. That's the one side. That's the other side. That is nasty, I can already tell that's nasty. But, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. Um. really all I wanted to show you guys really you know what we're gonna go through my taco box see what I have yep I gotta get in the get a little bit more all right well see you guys inside with the tackle boxes and yeah we'll just go on from there bye What's up guys okay so i'm inside now and i'm going to show you my gear and what i would usually use when i'm fishing it seems kind of embarrassing but we're going to start off with all of my tools so i have this stainless steel japanese knife right there just sharpened it before i got on here to make it look a little bit nicer and then here's the um little case love the knife razor sharp and then uh let's see um, oh yeah let's go through these two so got these two pliers the mini ones for little little pike and stuff these ones are a bit annoying because how rusty they get but they are curved they have the needle nose i get well 
No, these are also needle nose. I'm so confused with them, but they bent needle nose pliers. Same with these ones. Love these. These are my favorite ones. They work like there's no tomorrow. They're so easy. F4, I can make beats with them on the kayak. Oh my god, I forgot about these scissors. But these are some really rusty scissors. You can just hear how rusty they are. But let's move on to my soft plastics and what I what I have. So and these are from Dollarama, because Dollarama's got some really hidden gems. So, these were from... Oh, crap. These... That's completely wrong side. These were from Dollarama, and same with these. These ones are a bit stiff, which I don't like. But the flukes, amazing. They feel amazing, and they smell terrible like they're supposed to. And this isn't from Dollarama. I actually got this from a friend of mine. It's, um... Game Changer Lures Eliminator... Eliminator. They're bass lures. They're not that bad. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're not half bad, but they kind of work. And these are my favorite ones that I got from Dollarama. Some big old Berkeley power bait lures. Well, not lures, but swim baits. They're huge, though. They're about, damn, six inches. She is massive. Let's move on to the good stuff. Tackle boxes. Actually, you guys can't wait for that one. That one's good. You can wait for that one, too. Uh, here we go. I'm going to sit back for this one, because... Okay, um... I took the hooks off. Oh. This was one of my birthday presents that I got. It's it was a, it was a square bill, but snapped off. Got it from a mystery tackle box from the same buddy of mine that got me the um the those soft plastics. And then I got a oh what you call these? Tiny torpedo. Oh baby torpedo. Like a bass lure, I guess, but it's not super big. Kind of a small lure. And then we got the classic. The very classic. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. What, what are you doing? <laughs> that was so random. As soon as I say jitterbug. Yeah, she, she stopped again. But, yeah. Classic jitterbug. Love it. It has a rattle? Nice. And then I got this Jitterbug. This one's a lot bigger than that other one, but... Oh, it's my favorite one. I love it. It also makes, like, a clacking sound. I love that. I need to get an original Jitterbug, though. Those are nice. I'm pretty sure that's an original, but I'm not gonna really count that. And then I have another... I, I wouldn't say wake bait, but... Got a, I'm not even going to pronounce that, head on, heat on, I don't know. But it's a crazy collar. Haven't got any fish on it yet. Nothing, not a singular thing. But it's because I don't use it because it looks really weird when it's in the water in my opinion. And then I got this. What? What language is this? All... Arashai spin bait. That might have been close, but it's by Storm. For like I guess it's for like smallies. That's what a guy down at the my the fishing store that I go to said about it. But found it in a river. And this is my favorite bait. My um size 75 whopper plopper. Found that in the exact same river. Got a lot of fish on this. No pike or musky yet on it. But, yep. Yeah. And then, a little rat lure. Found this in a boat. Still haven't got any fish on it. Sadly. It's a really nice lure. And then I got this Lunker Hunt Frog. 
haven't got anything on it, I don't believe. And that's also because how bad it looks. It looks really nice, but it's just the tail. And it's also, it's not hard at all to like push down, but I'm just not good with frogs in general. Except for the one that I'm about to show you guys, which is an absolute W frog. We got this. It's another Lunkerhan. Yeah, another Lunkerhan. I like this because of the legs. They spin. Like that, uh, if you guys watch that person that does like, uh, pike and musky kayak fishing and, and smallies. N W Y Yak Angler or something, I believe. You guys should check him out. He's amazing at fishing, but he had a duck lure that had the things like this. Massive pike followed it, slammed it, but really squishy. I like that, and it's not hard to use at all. Hooks are still razor sharp. Yep. Phew, I was scared for a second, but this is my oldest frog that I have. And it's like every time you jerk it out, it goes like that. And then it goes back in, jerks out. And it's kind of like, like that, real classic. And it's got those little weed things on them. You can't see them, but I don't want to move because like I said in the video before this, same day thing, I'm sick. And then I got this, oh, I forget what kind of frog. But yeah, we got a popper frog, real nice. I had to super glue it, but it's broken and it's still broken. And if anything, I made it worse, but probably just gonna throw it out because I'm not able to use it that much anymore now. But I do wanna get popper frogs, I really do. And this isn't mine, but well, it was mine, but my dad took it because I believe I left it in his tackle box and he never gave it back. But yeah, it, this is my hula popper. I'm going to say it's mine because it originally was. Got it for my birthday and everything. And then this is my biggest regret of a purchase and I recommend you guys not buy this at all. Because it broke the first day I got it and it was, it's a... 120 Chapo by Berkeley and the tail of it snapped like the first day I got it So I super glued it and now I have a free spook. So not complaining Really not complaining. I am but I'm not you get it yeah. Also built this tackle box cheap as all hell I'm Like come on who built a tackle box like this and it's also by R Rapala or Rapala. I don't know And then let's get into this okay i'm just gonna show you guys this spinner baits that i have in here but got this one got it from the same uh buddy of mine that i got from that i got the um those baits from and then the um oh. i forgot but and then this is my brother's it's a guggen squad zinger he said it works amazingly, but I'll be the one testing that out. And then the Guggen Squad clickbait. I've been hearing really bad reviews about this thing, so I'm really scared because I bought a bunch of these. And I'm really hoping I didn't waste my money, but yep. And then we got the old, old classic buzz bait. Best bait out there, apparently. Well, no, not best bait, but one of the best baits for top water, I guess. And then got some crappy um, spinner baits, you know, some crappy ones. And I got this weird thing. I, if you guys can tell me what is this called, but I don't know. It's some weird chatter bait, I think. I don't know. It's super, super weird. Super weird. Super, super weird. But let's put these back. That's a huge ding. But. That's all of those spinners and, not spinners, but jigs, spoons, and ice fishing lures. I really did not want to go through all of those because that would have taken way too long. And then I'm going through all of this. I don't even care. We're going to start off with the decent stuff. Well, no. All of this is good. Let's start off. I was using this last night. 
when I seen that uh, Mosky. It's a little Meps 3. Actually, is it all bent out? gonna keep, take this out of the tackle box now since I don't need to put it back in and then um, oh this gets a bit annoying you, I'll show you guys the lure that makes this get getting stuff out really annoying but I'm gonna give it to my brother because this lure is really annoying and I don't know who got the smart idea to make a lure like that but You know what, I'll show you this one first. Because I'm just, I just want to get this one over with and not have to see it again. So annoying this thing is, and I don't know why someone would make this, but it's a Canadian wiggler, I, I suppose. But, yep. Yeah, I might keep it. I'm actually kind of thinking about keeping it now. Why, why would I even think of that? But, um, and then I got this Booyah Lipless Crankbait. Oh, I right my finger a little bit. Oh, that sucked. But, got this, uh, little Booyah Lipless Crankbait. Not half bad. And then we got this, um... Ooh. Rattle Spot. That's looking like... Yeah, Rattle Spot. Also known as a rattle trap, one of the older ones though. Okay, now let's compare it to this. I'm siding with the older one. The older one. My favorite lure with pike. One of my, actually no, not my favorite, but one of my favorites is this. The Canadian Wiggler. This is an actual one though. But I took off the front hooks because they were like the other one that I showed you. So now it's just the back hook and I like it a lot now. Actually, it, I don't like it a lot. I love it now. It's amazing. But, yep. And then let's go through these. Oh my gosh, man. Let's just get these all on top of this thing. First, I have this um, flicker shad. Real nice. Love it. And then um, I'll show you guys the other one that I have. Because I have two. And then this is my other flicker shad. Yep. It's amazing. Don't think I've caught any fish on them, though. On them, though. And then this isn't a flicker shad, but it's a... Rapala, most likely expensive, but yeah, I like it. it looks beautiful. It looks kind of like a shad, I guess you could say, a little bit. And then we got this. Don't really know what it is, but pretty sure it's a Rapala. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did I see it? Wait, I could say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Rapala because it looks like something. Or Rapala, I don't know. Rapala, Rapala. But, yeah. Looks like something they would make. Because they do like making nice lures. I love the lures that they make. And then I got this, um... Oh my god. I got this Berkeley Digger. It's real nice. Brand new. This one has never touched the water. But my brother's has, but this one has not touched the water at all. Still brand spanking new. And then this is my dad's. I caught a monster bass on this. Well, no, yeah, I did. It was a monster. Pretty big, yeah. That's the one that I caught on that. And then let's move to my jerk baits. So with these, I want to go from my least favorite to my favorite. Okay, so this one's the um, Bagley's Top Gun. Found this lure. Nice little jake net. And then there's this um, Lunker Hunt. Not bad looking, but don't like it too much. It's got a really heavy rattle in it. 
And then, um, we got this lure right here. Found this at the Bay of Quinty. For all of you guys that live in Belleville, Ontario, you'll know exactly where that is. But, yeah, you just gotta go looking. Everyone forgets their lures because they either lose them because they suck at fishing. Which, no hate if you suck at fishing. Everyone's new. Everyone can be new if they want. Like, anyone, like, if there's somebody new. And then this is my second favorite lure. This Rapala that I found at a lake that I'm not going to tell you guys because it's my favorite spot. Love it. And then this is my favorite lure. All of the fish that are in the last video, I think every one of them except for like two, I've caught on this. That big muskie that I showed you guys on this. They bent the hooks out so badly. I don't know if you could see it, but if you look, you can see how bad those hooks are bent. Not in the best condition, but a pristine lure. I might get new hooks, but I most likely won't. That's a good lure. Yeah, that's gonna wait. That's also a good one. Okay, let's start off with this one that I got from my dad. Forgot I haven't given it back yet, but I'm borrowing this. Forgot to actually no, I'm gonna I should give it back now because I completely forgot about this. But it's called a giant killer. It's a MEPS 5 giant killer. It's got a little hook on it now. Because I had to replace it. Because it was missing a hook. Don't even, I, I don't even ask how I was missing a hook. I don't even know either. And then we got this uh, MEPS 5. It's a... should say musky killer because it looks like a musky killer, but I guess it's not. But it's a really nice lure, though. Love it. And then this is my newest MEPS. It's uh, another... Let's see, MEPS 5. Yep, but this one is a musky killer. Love it. But the river I'm going to be in, which is the Moira, has a lot of pike, a lot of pike, and a lot of musky. So big musky, too. Really big musky. But, yeah. And let's get into the good stuff. We're going to start off with this. Okay, got to get these all untangled. They suck to get untangled. We're going to start off with this massive jitterbug. Huge. For musky, if you if you know who one rod one uh, reel is, he's fished with this for bass. I don't know if he's caught something on it, but it's a massive lure. Haven't caught on it, anything on it either because it's just way too big. And then we have this lure. Got it for Christmas. Same with that. Um, what you call it? musky killer oh my gosh and then i have a really big musky spinner that my uh dad's gonna be dropping off and i'll show you guys that but yeah nice little i don't know what you'd call these but this one's probably mainly for pike but yeah really nice liver and then i don't think this is a micro but i got a medusa i'm pretty sure it's just a mini medusa no, that's probably a micro because how small that is. But this I'll mainly be using for pike. For obvious reasons, because how small it is. And I don't think, well, no, musky. Yeah, they probably would bite on it. But, yep. Nice little mini micro medusa, whatever you want to call it. And then there's this. The big... Big man. I believe this this is a Rapala or Rapala, whatever you want to say. And I forget what they call it, but yeah, I've caught a big, big pike on this. Monster pike. No musky yet, but love it. And there's, there's no rattle. Damn. 
No rattle. It's a floating too. It's also from Finland. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah. yeah I think there is all oh, the good stuff now. You guys are going to get to witness the real good stuff now. The lures that I'm about to show you, I do not let anybody touch. Not even my parents can touch them. Because these lures are sp so special to me because who I got them from. And I really don't want any of them to break. It's because who I got them from, like I just said. And how, like their age. Because they're, they're nice lures, but... It's just not want to not wanna fit. Okay, there we go, we're making progress. Okay. Put this one in. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room, but let's see if it fits. No way. No way, bro. Got another one. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, no, this one. Oh, I like this one. But we're going to start off with, like I said before, I think they're Ned Rigs. And then we got some Walleye Jigs. Got like six of them for the new upcoming tournament. Not tournament. Well, yeah, it is a tournament, but it's also opening weekend. And then got some more jigs. Got them all prepared. And I have this one ready to go for when I'm going pike fishing. I love that lure for pike. Absolutely love it. And then I got a bunch of MEPs. I don't want to go through those because you got to get to the good stuff. And then we got some... Storm swim baits or just jigs, however you want to say it. His eyes are really messed up though. That 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 is not normal. For a swim bait to look like that, that's not normal. There's something wrong with that swim bait. But yeah. Anyways, let's get over that. But these are all these that I have, so these are all the Guggen baits that I have. So, a zinger. I do want to get the lipless, not lipless, but the square ball crank baits that they have. I think it's called a banger or something. And here's one of my click baits. Dollarama. Dollarama has Guggen squad somehow. But um, I've heard a lot of bad reviews about the click baits, so I'm kind of scared. And then we got this click bait, red color. And then. Phew. This was stuck on uh, what I'm about to show you guys. And then we got this one. Kind of like, I don't know what you what color that would be. But, yeah. These are all my new lures. And the newest box that I have. Oh, oh there we go, boys. I don't have to get up for this one. start off with let's start off with this that this just says musky on it nothing else it just says musky on it right on the top it just says musky i guess it would go on the side that's i don't know but i'm pretty sure it works oh no oh no and then let's see if it's does it have a rattle? Is it wooden? Yeah, it's wooden. It's a wooden lure. Nice old one. And then this is another one that I got from Dollarama. I got a lot from Dollarama. Like for some reason, they have good stuff like this, but it's a fat curl. It's stupidly big. But, yeah, really fat tail. 
haven't got anything on it because I haven't used it, but except for the no, I might have. And then I got this old wooden lure. Wow. Have a look at this old beast. Oh dang, it's got snake on. Those two huge bite marks on it. This thing has clearly caught a fish. Ooh, that's a good sign. I like that sign. And then, oh, I gotta get these two apart because they're all tangled up. Why put them so close together? And then there's this with the really stupid design. Well, not stupid design, but stupid thing that they did, making those so close to each other. But yeah, another wooden lure. This one's starting to break, actually. Yeah, it is starting to break. Some of the wood's starting to like fall off a bit, but yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any bite marks in this. Might have been chased up the shore or something, not shore, but up to like the boat if they were, if the people that used to own the, that were maybe on a boat, you never know. Oh, I hate when I gotta put big lures back like these. They suck to put back. It's so annoying they get. Oh my goodness, man. I can't put this. Oh, okay. Phew. I cannot put these away. I don't know if that cut out, but it just said my battery was low. Hopefully it didn't cut out because, well. Oh no, it might have had a fish on it. That hook's bent out. Well. Might have not been a fish, most likely wasn't, but. Oh no, no, it would have been a fish. I was I thought I was talking about this bait for a second. <laughs> Memory just went blank for a second. But yeah, might have had a fish because of those. Well, no, it did have a fish indeed, but I don't know about this one. Doesn't seem like any of the hooks were bit, but yeah. Really nice, strong lures and beautiful ones. Oh my gosh, this, I hate lures sometimes. But I can't be the only one, but 30 minutes I've been yapping about these. Oh, if you guys stick around, then thank you. And I guess you guys get a sneak peek at what lake I'll be fishing at. It's called Machesney Lake. Huge bass. Yep. So, yeah, if you guys are true viewers and you stuck around, you'll know what lake I'll be going to. And then we got, oh no, I missed one. And then we got these, this one's an old lure, really old. Looks kind of like a rapala, but I don't think it is, but. And then we got, I think it's a jerk bait. It could be a glide bait, I'm not too sure, but yeah. Ah, dang. Got me right in my finger a little bit. But yeah, if it's a jerk bait, that's cool. I think you call them jerk baits. I, I don't know. A jerk bait just looks like. I don't, shit, I don't know. Like a pike lure, I guess. Like a smaller pike lure, per se. I don't know. Not too sure. And then we're on the last part now of this side. There's two sides to this musky box. And then. We got this, same thing, but different color. And then we got the bigger version of that little guy that I showed you. This is the musky version. I'm just saying it's the musky version because the other one looked kind of small. Like something Pike would eat, but this is the, the fatty. Okay, let's close this box. So annoying because I gotta put this back right to where it needed to be. So I don't open this this side of the box because of all these lures. And 
and the good side. Ta-da. Okay, we're gonna start off with this. This is another Dollarama lure. They're actually coming in clutch with a lot of these lures now. So that's a really big hook at the back, and then it's a smaller hook. But yep, yeah, really big jig bait. Really big jerk bait. Caught nothing on it. But this is the rattle. Not really much of a rattle, but it's big. And then there's just the exact same one as the last two, but different coloring. Still really nice lure. It's beautiful. Okay, let's see how long it takes me to put this lure back. Oh no, I got caught on my couch. That's not good. Oh, it keeps getting caught on my couch. That's not good. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna give me a struggle. Of course it will. And then this is Big Botha. Big, big Botha. Massive lure. Massive, massive lure. But, yeah. Had lots of fish bite it. And you can tell because how badly it's cut, man. You know, I don't know if you guys can see, but looks like there's a lot of punk. You can see it up by that eyeball, the white spot. See that right there? That was a puncture wound. Puncture, wow. I'm saying it's a wound. Well, it technically is, but it's fish in the way. And then this is a, another micro mini Medusa, whatever you want to say. But this one's my brother. My brother's. So, yeah, got it from his friend. And then this is the musky spook that I have cut nothing on it but let's just see if there's any bite marks don't see any bite marks any teeth marks nothing but yep yeah, nice big spook gonna try it on sunday try out for some musky and pike no smallies though that's big smallies are way too far and then this is my absolute favorite lure out of all of my lures well, no, not my favorite, but I'm also going to try this lure on Sunday. Big muscular, big, big wooden muscular. If I lose it, I'll cry, but yeah. And then these are the other ones that I got from, yeah. This, never caught anything on it, but I'm thinking it's a, uh, let's see, swim whiz. 1979. I already know that's not from 1979. Nothing in it. And then we got the other one. They're the same baits, but one of them's jointed and the other one's not. Let's see. No rattles in either of them. Nice. It's not like it's a bad thing. That's an actual good thing. Sometimes I hate rattles and baits because they can get really annoying. Especially that Lunker Hunt one, it gets annoying. It, it, it annoys me so fast. Just like how these are going to start to annoy me. Because this doesn't want to stay in. Okay. Well. I believe that's everything. Um. Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, yep. I really hope you enjoyed the today's video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day.